Ifan placed a bottle of hot milk in a container of tap water at room temperature. He then added some ice cubes to the water. Which of the following changes will most likely take place? Now looking at the diagram itself, before looking at the options, we must ask ourselves, when the ice cube is placed in the tap water, what will happen to the ice cube? So the ice cube will become hot. becomes hot. And if it becomes hot, it means that it has gained heat. Now, for the hot milk, it will become cold. Becomes cold. And when it becomes cold, it will actually lose heat. Now what about the tap water? Looking at the tap water, right? Yes, it does have the ice cube, but at the same time it has got a hot milk. So you will both lose and gain heat at the same time. So the question asks, which of the following changes will mostly, most likely take place? The temperature of the hot milk bottle will fall. So the temperature of the hot milk bottle will fall, yes, because it will become cold. So if it becomes cold, the temperature will fall. The ice cubes will gain heat from the tap water, yes. Sorry, the ice cubes will gain heat from the tap water. Just now we already wrote here, right? Becomes hot, therefore it gains heat. So yes, this will happen. The hot milk water will lose heat to the tap water. The hot milk water, yes will lose heat to the tap water because the hot milk becomes cold, it will lose heat to the tap water. Now D says the temperature of the tap water will remain the same. In this case, the temperature of the tap water will not remain the same because as although it's lose gaining heat sorry, it is actually losing heat due to the ice cube, but it's also gaining heat due to the hot milk. There will be a change in the temperature until it reaches equilibrium depending on how much heat is gained and how much heat is lost. Therefore, the only answer would be number 3.